Today you're going to learn how to make a strawberries and cream milk tea. By popular demand, I'm bringing you drinks that reflect the Queen's Platinum, Jubilee, and birthday this month. When I think of late spring and summer here in the UK, I enjoy sunny garden parties, the seaside, or Wimbledon. It reminds me of clotted cream with jam on scones and strawberries and cream. For those of you not familiar with the British version of strawberries and cream, they are sun-ripened red sweet strawberries with single cream drizzled on top. And that's it. It's a simple and easy quintessential British dessert that everyone enjoys of all ages. And if you're curious, single cream is sort of like a thicker version of what we would know as half and half in America. So naturally, why not make it into a milk tea? So whether you're celebrating this year or not, I hope you enjoy this tasty British dessert flavor. Let's get started. This strawberries and cream powder that we'll be using today already has the black tea in it. So although I will be skipping that step of brewing the tea, just know that there is tea in it. If your strawberry powder doesn't contain tea in it already, then I would definitely suggest brewing black tea and adding it to it. And of course, in true style, I will be kicking things up a notch at the end, so please do stay tuned. And today, I will be using my brown industry standard bubble tea scoop. The flat measurement of it yields approximately a heaping tablespoon. So first, we're going to do two flat brown scoops of the bubble tea creamer powder. Next is two flat brown spoons of the strawberries and cream powder. And last but not least is two flat teaspoons of fructose powder. If you have fructose syrup, that will be 14 milliliters. And if you don't like things sweet at all, you can go ahead and omit this step or use alternatives like honey or brown sugar or anything like that. Because we're going to be using just boiled water, we will need 150 milliliters. Carefully pour this in and stir until combined. Add ice almost all the way to the top, put on the middle lid and the top lid and shake really well for one minute. We know our drink is ready when there's a really nice condensation around the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. Next, we're going to make the sweet light crema for the top of the drink. This crema recipe is just a simple light crema that can be used on a variety of different types of bubble tea drinks. I'm going to be using my USB electric mini whisk milk frother. I just got this one online. It's really nice because it just plugs into a USB and it has a little plug in the back as well. This one came with two types of attachments along with this nice holder here. The attachment that I'm going to be using today is sort of the ballooned type effect or you know a generic whisk most often used on eggs for egg whites and such whereas I normally use this one which is a double tiered whisk which is great for frothing milk but we're going to be using something that froths quite easily anyways, so I find that this one works a little better. But if you only have this one, it's totally fine. A lot of it will depend upon what kind of cream you're using. I'm using double cream today, but in America you'll probably be using whipping cream. So yeah, just wanted to give you a quick explanation as to why I'm using this one today. So I'm just gonna put that there and put this off to the side. And of course, if you're going to be making a large batch or many drinks, then you'll probably be using a completely different system to obtain this whip altogether. So first, I'm going to add in four tablespoons of the double cream. And again, if you have whipping cream, that is good also. And next, I'm going to be using four tablespoons of semi-skimmed milk, or low-fat milk, non-fat milk, 
you get the idea. And last but not least is what we would call here in the UK icing sugar. In America, it's best known as powdered sugar. And you're going to need two teaspoons. This one happens to have different settings. I'm just going to be using it on the lowest setting and checking it every 10 seconds till it gets to the correct consistency that I'm looking for. All right, it is definitely not there yet, which I know, but I just want to show you exactly how it looks. It's still quite watery and very thin. There might be a little bit of thickness on top, but I know from experience, it's probably gonna be about 20 or 30 seconds in total. So let's go to the next 10. All right, we are getting close. There's a little more buoyancy in it. And let's do 10 more seconds. There we go. It's still quite light, it's not thick. We're not going for a whipping cream type consistency. Although it is personal preference. If you would like to go longer and have it be slightly thicker and more buoyant, that's totally fine. But this is the consistency I am going for today. And as it sits just a few more seconds before we put it on the drink, it will thicken just a tad. So next, we're going to be compiling all of the components of our beverage. In the bottom, I'm going to be putting in some strawberry juice balls, along with one crushed up, kind of cut up strawberry that's fresh. I really feel that the combination of these two coming up the straw will just be a wonderful experience. But alternatively, if you don't have any toppings, then of course you could just do the crushed up strawberry or none at all. Just the milk tea alone with the crema on top tastes amazing. And last but not least, make sure you adorn your beautiful layered drink with a strawberry. Cheers. Mm. So, so good. So whether you decide to eat your strawberries and cream or drink it as a milk tea, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Take care.